Hello, welcome to the viewers of the FWSP Network of Friends. My name is Randy Paskey, and I'm a member of the Board of Directors for the Friends of Wisconsin State Parks. I've been on the board for over six years. Currently, I'm the chairperson of, for the Outreach Committee, and part of these responsibilities is to maintain the FWSP webpage, uh, publishing news bursts, and reaching out to our friends groups, such as today. Today, here we're here with Steve Trusley, the business manager of the Friends of Peninsula State Park, and Chris Holosack, who is the current president of the Friends. Like most people who became friends, Steve and his family have enjoyed coming to Peninsula State Park since his two sons were younger. He and his family moved from Dallas, Texas to wonderful Wisconsin in 2007 and haven't regretted a moment since, <laughs> I'm hoping. Eventually, yeah. he became business manager of the Friends of Peninsula State Park. Chris lives in Fish Creek, like Steve. She is dedicated to the Friends of Peninsula State Park. She has volunteered her time with very successful committee for Eagle Tower, and she's also been active with a renovation and addition to the Nature Center. Chris, you have been so active with two major building product committees, the Eagle Tower and now the Nature Center. Uh, prior to these two committees being active, how did you find yourself connected with the Friends of Peninsula State Park? Um, Okay, I taught in Milwaukee, and I, um, when I moved up here, I've always been really interested in um, teaching kids about science and nature, and when I was teaching, we did a lot of hands-on science outside, so um, I, there was an opportunity for me to join the um, board, and I live very close to the park, and so it just was kind of a, an easy, you know, fit. Steve, you're the business manager for the Friends. Um, most friend groups have the typical format of president, vice president, secretary, treasurer, officers. The Friends of Peninsula State Park has undergone two major projects. How did you find your skills as a prior business manager for Luther Prep Schools useful and helpful for the Friends? Well, when the uh, job first became available, I looked at the job description and, and not only having worked for the prep school in Watertown, but I also worked for the American Heart Association for about 25 years. And a lot of my responsibilities were in fundraising, in strategic planning, and also in financial management, uh, doing financial reports and so forth. And those were all duties that the friends were looking for in the position to help uh, raise funds for the organization as well as manage some of the major projects that you just referenced. So it seemed like a, a natural fit between the job experience I had had and what the friends were looking for in terms of assistance from a part-time paid staff person. Um, most of the board members of the Friends of Peninsula Park, I would say live within a hundred miles of the park or within that locale. Um, However, you probably have uh, members of the Peninsula State Park that are also active in other groups. Um, either Chris or Steve, tell us about those other members, like how large is your group, how active is their group, that kind of thing. Well, I can start off with some basic facts and then Chris may want to add to that. We currently have about 250 members, which includes individuals, families, business members, and we have several life members, also people who have made a larger contribution uh, in, uh, to, in order to be considered a life member. And then, and most of those folks uh, that renew their membership each year. So we're very fortunate to have kind of a continuing base of support among our members. And, and mo many are in Wisconsin, of course, closer to where the park's located, but they are spread throughout the United States. So we have people in California, people in Florida, all over, all over the country. And I would say a, a, lar a number of those are also involved in volunteering with activities for the park. So some of those people help with the uh, Fall 50 race that we help support in the fall that raises some money for the friends. 
Um, some come and help with trail maintenance. Uh, others are involved with some of the other activities that the friends do. So it is a, it's a nice group of people to have access to and supporting us, and they're a, they're a great group, too, to help advocate for the park and for the friends group. Oh, thanks, Chief. Chris, you have anything to add? Um, yes. Um, one of the ways that we raise money is by selling merchandise, and so um, we we have a merchandise committee who works very, very hard on, you know, getting products and putting them out in, in the office and maintaining that, that program because that really helps um, with our funding. Um, and talking about funding, the, the Friends of Peninsula State Park have certainly – probably with the help of the Department of Natural Resources, have worked on many projects with the park. Um, the Eagle Tower was a phenomenal achievement, and now the Nature Center. How do you come across these funding sources for this? So um, we, we've done a number of different things. Uh, obviously, individuals are a big source of gifts and donations for us, and, and uh, we've done some mailings to people that have resulted in significant gifts. We put donation jars out around local businesses and at the park that uh, people can contribute through. And we've also been successful in obtaining some foundation grants, as well as uh, a number of Knowles Nelson stewardship grants from the state. We've applied for those. The board really had done a lot of that work before I came on board. To get those secured so so we've had a wide variety of donor groups I guess that we've gone to and and asked for funds and have been fortunate to receive those gifts Chris and what, what, was a, what was a little tricky was um, we started the funding for the nature center and then the, the DNR decided to take the tower down which was a surprise and so the nature center got kind of put on hold and then we had to raise money for the tower, as you know. And so um, then once we raised money for the tower, we started again fundraising for the Nature Center. So it was kind of like two things going on at the same time, but one taking priority of the other one for a certain amount of time. If rebuilding, if building the Eagle Tower and renovating the Nature Center, adding an addition to that, isn't enough, you have future plans to create an amphitheater. Tell the audience about these plans and and what else does the Friends have in the future? Well, the Nature Center, we really want to start phase two, which includes the parking lot because the parking lot is very, very small there now. Also, when we remodeled the Nature Center, we put a lot of windows where windows weren't before. So you see a very large expanse of the prairie and the woods. And um, so when we were looking out the window during a walkthrough the other day, we were like, oh, wow, that amphitheater would be really cool <laughs> right there. So um, I think we would we really want to pursue that, both uh, the um, parking lot and the amphitheater for the Nature Center. And Steve can talk a little bit about we also have something else um, in the works, which is a warming hut. <laughs> right. So our trails committee, which is very active and does a great job of keeping the trails maintained, especially during the winter for cross-country skiing and, and snowshoeing, uh, has identified the need for a new warming hut near the trailhead uh, for a number of the trails. There is an existing building, but it's quite old, and it's not really everything that's needed for public gatherings and people to come and warm up after they've been out on the trails. So they started working on some plans. They put together a committee and started working on some plans for a new warming shelter that would include a gathering space, indoor restrooms, uh, a garage area to store equipment like our gator that does grooming, and as well as probably an out outdoor workstation for bicycle repair and, and such that can be used during the summer. So it's it's a building we're envisioning having a lot of different purposes, and it'll be one of the next projects that we start to look at raising funds for. It's, it's, it's amazing. It's, it's a, 
just to have a group that looks so far in the future and plans in the future is really great. I'm, I'm really happy to see that. Um, how can others contact you for further questions, further information? So a um, couple of online sources would be our website, which is www.peninsulafriends.org. They can also look at our Facebook page at facebook.com slash Peninsula Friends. Uh, they can send an email to me at manager at peninsulafriends.org or to our general information email, which is info at peninsulafriends.org. Um, they can call me at my number, which is 920-868-6256, or they can call Chris, our president, at 414-699-6419. And either of us would be happy to talk with them about what we're doing and how we've done it and share ideas because we're, we're also always willing to learn from other groups too. Chris? Do you have anything to add, Chris? Um, no. I think Steve covered it. <laughs> well, thank you very much. On behalf of the FWSP Network of Friends, I want to thank Steve and Chris for taking a few minutes out of their day to chat with us. And please remember to enjoy your state park, take a trail less traveled, walk in a state forest while listening to the wind, and have fun in your favorite recreational area.